This video is going to be showing you how to draw a self-portrait. So for that you're going to need a paper, a pencil, and an eraser is always helpful too. And the way to start would be to draw a large letter U, so an uppercase U. The bigger you draw it, the more the face is going to take up on your page and the less of you you're going to have to you're going to draw. So notice I left some space up above this because that's going to be my hair. So a U. Under my U I'm going to draw two short lines down and then I'm going to connect them with a curve and that's going to give me my neck I'm going to draw two little lines out to the side. Those are going to be my shoulders. And a line down. And a line down on this side. And this is going to be my torso or my shirt. So then, to get my arms, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes curves down. And then I'm going to do a second line down. So this is going to be my arm. And if I wanted short sleeves, I'll just draw a line across. I'll show you that again over here. So curve line out and down. And then second line, and that's going to be my arm. And if you want short sleeves, line across. All right, up here. not at the very top down a little bit more towards around the middle I'm gonna draw my eyes you can draw your eyes any way you want I'm gonna start with two circles a little bit of space in between them because that's gonna be where your nose starts and then I'm gonna draw a second circle inside that's the dark center of your eye and to if you want it to look more realistic you can add a little white circle in there and shade this dark black so little circle dark black if you want to show the corners of your eyes I'll put little dots and go dot to the top, dot to the top, dot to the bottom, dot to the bottom. Do you have to show the corners of your eyes? No, but you can if you want to. And we need some eyebrows. If you feel them, there's lots of little hairs, so I'll use lots of little hairs to make mine or you can just draw a shape. Either way is fine. So draw a shape like a little crescent moon. Sometimes I'll turn my paper sideways to do it. Then draw your nose. So your nose usually starts between your eyes and goes down. If you have a mirror, look at your look at your face and look at your nose and see what it looks like. For your mouth decide what kind of facial expression you want to have. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to show your teeth? Do you want to be silly and have your tongue sticking out? You decide and add that to your expression. So I want my teeth showing. So what I'm drawing is like kind of like a crescent moon or a D turn sideways. And then I'm going to show my teeth. See, even Mr. Siler over messes up, and I'll erase mine right there too. And then, when I color, I'll color over those eraser marks. Or if those eraser marks show up, that's all right. Your ears are usually beside, they start beside your eyes. And look at the mirror and see what your, see what they look like. Maybe yours look like a C. Or they might look like a half heart 
or a butterfly wing. Then I need some hair. Well, for me, I need glasses. You might not need glasses, but it helps me see. So I'm going to add my glasses real quick. The cool thing about self-portraits is that everybody's is going to look different. It's one of the wonderful things about it. Your self-portrait is going to look totally different than anybody else's. That's true even if you are an identical twin. Yours is not going to look like your twins because it's going to look different. So then I'm going to add my hair. Think about what shape your hair is. Mine kind of curls on the end. So I'm going to add little curls onto mine. Make sure I add some hair on the side. And then a cool thing that I like to do with my shirts is to think about something I could put on there that would tell people about me. So like I love to draw. So I'm going to put a pencil on mine. Maybe you love to play soccer and you want to put a soccer ball on yours. Or maybe you love to sing and you want to put a microphone on yours. So what you put on your shirt and also things that you put in your background can tell people that look at your artwork can tell them about you. So add some things here and behind us that would tell us about you. Happy drawing!